broken woman confronts her pimp father. The life that I live, regrettable, but acceptable. I just need for you to okay. put out my relationship okay. and work on okay. that. Now, I'm a prostitute, used to talk. No, I'm just going to No, okay. listen, you're a prostitute. I'm not going to talk. Because hoes don't listen. When hoes are being born, they don't come when it's fresh and they got to be taught. Can this shattered relationship be saved? It's all right here on today's show. Thanks for coming in and thanks for being there. Today we're going to meet a woman torn apart by her relationship with her dad. She's only known him to be a pimp, either running the streets or doing time in jail. And it's affected every day of her life. Please welcome Montrese to the show. Montrese, how you doing? You contacted the show. You got a hold of us. What brought you here today? Well, first off, I want you to help me try to establish this so-called relationship with me and my father, first off. Um, he's been a pimp all my life. Tell me about your dad, because you, did, you, you don't have a traditional father. I don't have a traditional father, not close to one. Um, first off, um, starting as a child, he was a pimp and he owned a strip club. So he, with him owning the strip club, we were able to see women come in and out the house repeatedly on several different occasions. And with him having that lifestyle, then going to the pen shortly after that, all we've seen is all he knows is how to mistreat women. And so with me being his daughter, that's how he handles me. And, and I'm not going to keep standing for it. I'm, I'm fed up with it at this point. So. And you're one of four daughters. I'm one the of four. The only one and, and, and that came here to New York City because you care enough about Jerry to come here and confront him and say, today's got to be different. And, and it has to stop, and it's going to stop. And if not, I'm through with it. I'm not going to continue to try to fight with it. He, and, out of all, and he had four kids. And he wanted to be a pimp, but guess what? You had four daughters. This is a hard question for me to ask. It's maybe in the minds of the audience and mm -hmm. everyone at home, but did your dad ever try to pimp you out? You're an attractive woman. No, no, not at all. But he always told me that if it's not beneficial, it's not necessary, and that's how he feel. Um, some examples of my father being in his pimpish ways, like I said, with me being a woman, you would think that he would try to to kind of change his ways. No respect with him for having, women at he all. He has no respect for women. And he no, thinks your transportation systems for, he, for he, your he, female and, and organs. That, that's all you are. Yes, and that's what he thinks. And just like I'm trying to explain to you on certain situations in different levels, basically he tells me that um, pretty much like he feel like I'm worthless. He has no loyalty to me because I'm a woman. How does that that little girl? It, it hurts and I'm crying out for help and I have cried out for help. And at this time, I bought him a car. Um, uh, he, he, someone stole the car. I just bought him a Mercedes here recently, um, and I'm helping him with it, and he's expecting me to pay the car notes. I'm not going to pay your car notes for you. Um, you, you. You have to do this, and I feel like me continuously helping him and crying out for him. When he went to the penitentiary, I turned my back on my family. I went to go pick him up. From the pen. In fact, when he got out of the pen, you were the only family member that showed up at the member. joint and you took him home. I took him home in a brand new car that I bought and for didn't him. Didn't you sleep the night in your car? Me and my daughter. To make sure you would be my, there? Me and my daughter spent the night. When your daddy came out of the they pen. They, didn't, they couldn't give us a time frame on when he was going to be out. So I got there about 3 o'clock that morning because they said he was going to get out any time from 3 to... They don't let you know when I guess they catch right. the chain or however that goes. So... Um, I slept in the car and we, I waited to take him home and I took him home in a brand new car thinking he was going to change his ways and he didn't. He, he was in jail for years and when you years, were a little girl, ten years, ten years, ten years, and you used to sneak out of your house as a girl to go I, to jail, to I'm be there, I got and a you're car. the one, you're like a magnet, you just want to be with it and you out want the father. Out of all his four kids, I'm the only daughter that tries to build a rapport with him. I'm the only daughter that have tried to help him and like I said, he's been gone for ten years. So out of the ten years that he has been gone, um, he's been home for seven. So I've been working on trying to change him for seven, seven years. years. And if it's not, if he, if we can't come to no resolution today to try to change him, then Bill, I'm through. I can't do it. And he has to understand that. Please, let's hear what Jerry has to say. Please welcome Montrese's dad, Jerry, to the show. Jerry, come on out. Jerry, 
as a as a father myself, I wanted to say to you, defend yourself, man. Defend yourself. You've heard what your girl is saying. She's here. She's in New York City from Texas to try to help this. Bill, let what me hear I got, it. What I got to say about her? She's my daughter, and I love her. But she can't hate what I was when I was doing what I was doing, okay? I'll admit, I wasn't in your life when I was coming up. But when you, you was coming you, up. You, you can't put was, no, no, though, no, because no. No, 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 hold them up for you pull them down. No, I'm no, not hold them up for you no, 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 you, down. my daughter. No. This is the problem we have right now. She never listened. It, did, it wasn't If you that, would tell me listen, something that was listen, listen, then I would listen. But listen, I'm not going to listen when listen, you don't respect me as a woman. Listen, it wasn't that I didn't love you. I had a drug problem myself, all right? Serious drug I, problem. I mean, I had a serious drug problem. Decades of drugs. <laughs> decades of drugs, okay? <laughs> serious I mean, problem. Decades of drugs. Jerry, was so, there something? All right, let's go back a little bit. Let's go back. Was there something in your youth, something in your upbringing, that you inflicted upon Montrese and your other three daughters. Well, what made Jerry, what Jerry became, a strip club owner and a pimp and a runner of hoes and a runner? Is something happened in your life? Anything? Tell me, defend it. No. Nothing? I'm, not, not to really. It was just that I was out there. I didn't ask no girl to do nothing for me by force. They did this by choice, right? And if, I, and if I was able to do these type of things, then I got to, I, I accepted these did they, type of did things. They, did they do their thing and just come at night and just hand you the cabbage? Just give it to you? What? That's the only way it was. I drove Roy Russell's and things didn't have a job. Montrese, you came here. I want you to look yeah. your, your pimp daddy in the eye mm -hmm. and tell him. <laughs> Tell your father what he did to you as a child. You're the only one of four, Jerry. That she's the only one that came here to confront you because she loves you, you know. And the other three, you know, we couldn't get other three to physically come. But the point wow. of the matter is, Montrese, tell him right now what, what brought you here today. Basically, Dad, I'm just really frustrated and tired. You think it's all fun and games and this hee hee ha ha, and every time I talk to you, you try to come out with these old. <laughs> excuse me. Uh, Bill, but you come out with all of these fast, over-the-top over, over the top words that I don't even understand. I'm your daughter. You can't continue to treat me like that. I'm tired of it. And we're going to have something going to have to change. And if it don't change, Daddy, then I'm through. Like, I'm fed up. I'm out of your four girls. I'm the only one that did with you. And when you was gone those 10 but, years, but, 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 I kept but us up. together. But you, I kept but, us but, together. No, no, but you, I, no, no, no. See, you never you, let you, me talk. No. No, but you she's trying to give me an ultimatum. I'm not you giving you, I'm not giving you an ultimatum. Because guess what? You're not going to win no ultimatum. Because I'm a woman. You're my dog. Because I'm a you're woman. I can't give you no, no hold ultimatum. Him hold, him hold, him you pull hold him up. Hold him up when you pull him down. Hold him up when you pull him down. I don't have nothing to pull down. See, that's how that's how prostitutes used to talk. When girls are born, they're like, no, listen, no. See, y'all listening. Y'all listening. This is what you're missing. See, when prostitutes are being born, listen. When hoes are being born, they don't come with instructions. They got to be taught. You haven't been taught because I went in your life, oh, okay? Man. I mean, and I'm not telling you, Jerry. No, don't Jerry. get that mis But you won't listen. You will not listen. Jerry. I'm not oh, calling you a hoe. You will not listen. Why? Because okay, you want to be a. Talk, so how, how, do you, how do you expect me to Mr. listen? Mr. Cunningham, how do you, how do you no, call she, your own daughter not, not, a hoe? How do you do that? Yes, you see, you see, think women no, are not, not no, hoes. No, you, you got this misconstrued. I'm not calling you a hoe. You compared her to a prostitute. Because she got prostitute tendencies right now. She don't. Because she's acting like a prostitute. You got prostitute tendencies. Because hoes don't listen. Hold on, listen, they got to be tough. And I'm, I'm just telling now you that you now. You Jerry, can, I'm just telling as you. As a parent, you cannot call your own blood a hoe. Man. You can't no. do that, man. You see? I tell you what, stay right there. We'll be back with more. We're going to get into this and we continue. Stay right there. Jerry, you, you can't call your own blood. What did you tell me? Don't bring no other around you because of what? What did you tell me? Don't blame me. Because, 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 because that make me look like I'm a hoe. Yeah, yeah. Quit grabbing your daughter yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, that she watched me come on. She's your daughter. She's not some hoe. You don't grab her like that. Never. She not. Hasn't he slept with a lot of your friends off, in the past? I want to get to the bottom okay. of everything. He knows Jerry, because did, she you knows have, how did you have you. sex with Trees? Yes or no? I respect women to the utmost. But you got to understand and realize you got some women that don't respect themselves. So how can you respect people when they can't respect themselves? Like, if you meet a lady, you treat her like a lady. If you meet a hoe, you leave her like a hoe.
Neglect, betrayal, and disrespect. That's what Montrese faces from her father every day. Why? Because as long as she's known him, her father's been a pimp. Now, Jerry, we left at a point, and I, I want to get to this. Let's forget about the street vernacular, the street lingo, pimp, ho, all that stuff. I see a father, a dad, and I see a daughter, and I see a relationship that is shattered. And I have a sense that if we leave today's show with this attitude, and you're affecting her relationships with her guys, she's done. She's gonna join your other kids, and you're not gonna have a relationship with her or with the grandchildren. You're done. So Montrese, explain to Jerry how he affects currently your relationship with your man. Explain that. First off, because you know your loyalty to Zach is more loyal than it is with me. When I try to talk to you, could you look at me when I'm talking to you, please? When I try to, when I, when you I, can't look at her and when, do anything when, but laugh. I mean, and, and, and that's Listen. the thing, honestly, Dad. But every time I try to talk to you, it's always a situation. It, you, we can never get to the, the the core of the problem because you always overtalk me with these belligerent words. But with me and Zach. You put you hinder my relationship because you so try you to go make on and on no and no you you make you try no you try because you try to hinder your relationship listen, because you no, try to make him feel like it's okay to cheat on me because I'm a woman and don't one man supposed to have no one woman and you make him try to feel like it's okay he don't want to do it and if and if he did have any no, 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 and no, I no, feel no, like no, this no, is no, what no, I feel no hold him up for you put him back I never told your man that it's all right to cheat on you but you told him if he was then you not gonna say that hell no I'm not gonna say nothing but I'm not gonna say something. But I'm your daughter, though, so, what, that, so what, what, why whatever would, you do, I'm not gonna say nothing. Yes, you would. Hold on now. Now remember, Trees. remember when me and Zach was going through what we was going through, and I brought my friend over to the house, and when I brought him over to the house, what did you tell me? Man. Don't bring no nothing around you because of what? What did you tell me? Don't bring because 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 that makes me look like I'm a hoe. Yeah, yeah. That makes me look like I'm a hoe. Yeah, yeah, but it's exactly. okay. But it's okay for him to have multiple women, and it's exactly. okay. And that's exactly. what you want to do. Exactly. So what, what you want? Exactly. What you want? I mean, that, okay. That's not right. No, no, that is, is, is not is, right. Because you my daughter. Okay, you my I'm, daughter. That's what. And that's what. Let that man do what the man do. 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 That man do what the me. If you keep on talking, you will always be right. Jer Jerry, do no, you no, respect no. men more than women? I mean, be honest. Now, come on. You're a Please, guy. I'm a guy. I'm, that's what I do you know. respect men, but Please. you don't respect yes. women? Well, hold them up when you pull them down. Yes, Both sir. of y'all. Please. What are you talking about? Allow me to say this here. If my daughter go out there, Mr. Bill, and my daughter go out there and sleep <sighs> with Tom, Peter and How would you feel oh, somebody no, pimped her out? How please. would you feel if one of these guys pimped her out? Allow one question at a time. That'd be okay? It, allow one question at a time. I, allow. I, 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 let's hear it. Please, let's allow hear it. me. It's let's hear it. If my daughter go out there and sleep with Tom, Peter, and Paul, she gonna be Sounds like a rock group she's gonna be laid with her But But if Zach go out there and sleep with Sally, yeah. Deborah, and Ann, Zach a player. A woman can't do what a man can do and still be a lady. I tell you what, that doesn't it's make old, it right. If a woman got a man that's taking care of her, yeah, that I, woman's going to be content. Uh, no, I'm not going to for nothing. Yes. I'm not going to settle for nothing. That's, that's how you think, because you want the women to take you, care you, of you. You, you know what? Bill, you, get you, his you, Let's do this. Jerry, let me ask you like a question. A what would okay. you, Montrees is a young, attractive woman. What if some other player pimp started pimping out your daughter? And making money off your daughter. First How off, would you I, feel? I'm not gonna let How those other That's girls first. that you had as girls, they all had fathers just like you, and you're pimping out some dad's girl. You're doing that. You did that. Now, you did that. Can you do that? Can you pimp out? You pimped out the daughters of loving dads. What if some other pimp pimped out your daughter? What would you say to that pimp? I would say, well, she had to be a damn fool if she allowed you to pimp her. Okay, she, and that, and she, what, no, no, hold up, that, well, hold up. You Mr. Bill, be if, 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 she, that, came, that, if she came up under me and watched the things that I did, and if she chose to follow in that footstep, give them them the choices she made. But them the choices that I'm you allowed me to make, because gonna, you tried to make me feel like I belittle me like you were like You wouldn't let him do it, would you? That's not, hell no, I won't let nobody do it. You know what? She's got too much class for that. I make my own money. You know what? And if, I'm going to me, money I make, I'm going to keep it myself. Quit grabbing your daughter yeah, like yeah, that. Exactly. If she wants me, come I can't, on. I can't She's your talk. daughter. She's not some hoe. Talk. You don't grab her okay, like that. But she's not listening. She I don't care. Listen. She doesn't have to listen she's to you. Listening. She doesn't have to listen. But on my stage, you don't grab your girl like that. You don't grab yeah, your daughter. If you got that much knowledge and wisdom, then what you need to do is tell me some knowledge and wisdom to be reverse psychology. So if that's the case, if you got that much... Bill, first off, let me add, he went to jail once. But she before. got to realize, he went, he she went said, to jail.
been justified. By, by, uh, by uh, his mouthpiece or whatever. Robert, uh, Robert by conversation. Robert by conversation. So guess what? He think he got that mouthpiece. If you got that much game, then give me game and knowledge and wisdom on how not to let no man mistreat me instead of right, trying to right, tell right. me. That's, that's right. That's what you need that's to do. Right. Don't try to tell me how to do this. And then I will watch you. Hold up. Oh, 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 I still what? have been down see, for this see, man see, that has been his That's what's wrong with it right now. Wait, see, no, see, no, no, see, your no, mouth got diarrhea. You never right. listen. And yes, but what but you said, you, you, you got diarrhea. That's why, because you, you always overtop you know yourself. But you always talking about justifying. Ain't no justification justify. without ratification. Justify. Tell, tell him the time you embarrassed him in front of Zach, embarrassed him in front of family, to explain what you do, what he does. Tell him the time you embarrassed him in front of Zach, embarrassed him in front of family, to explain what you do, what he does to you. I mean, when me and Zach got into it, Zach went to him. This my daddy. But you go to him to let him know about a situation that he and I had. So instead of my daddy, so, you be so, so instead of my daddy, I, yeah, I, hell yeah, I would be glad if my daddy would take my side. But because Zach is a, a man and your loyalty is not to me, then guess what? You stop talking to me as long as Zach stop talking to me, and I'm not fit to deal with that. Hold on, there was a time that you believed that when you were in jail, that Montrese ruined your credit and that hurt you when you got out. And that's one of the reasons why you're so angry at her. You may, in a sense, ruin her childhood, and you think she ruined your credit, which ain't quite the same thing, but describe what happened when you were in jail with Montrese. When I was in jail with Montrese, Montrese got my credit, and by her being my daughter, she got my social security number, and brought several things in my name. I sure did. And, and, and didn't pay for them. She brought cars, she brought houses, she brought other boyfriend cars in my name, okay? Montrese? Montrese. I sure did. That, she, did. She, she, she did that. But, but. And guess what? And guess what? My, and, and guess what? The boyfriend that I had at the time, I didn't have nobody financially. There. Financially, he Jerry, was, you ought to be he, glad she did that. You ought to be glad because but, she was taking care of herself when you didn't take care of her. So, I, so, exactly so I, I, should, I, I should be my glad she did that? Yes. My yes. allowed me to get stuck in her name. Right here, honey, right here. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Thank we'll be back with more after this. Stay right there. Just when we thought we'd heard it all, you ain't heard nothing yet. Your man is a professional it boss. Does not Your matter. man have the tendency to let somebody make him perpetrate, masquerade, or imitate to be something that he's not. I mean, then, that, then, then that's on him. Then I mean, that's on him. And is there another destructive relationship in Montrese's life? Have you ever cheated on her while you two were together? I, no, I didn't get a yes or no. Have you? What did you say? Have you ever cheated on her since you two See, were? See what had happened was. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you're in the New York area, be a part of our studio audience. Go to BillCunninghamShow.com or call us at 1-888-710-TICKETS. We're finding out today that the consequences of a parent's betrayal can tear an entire family apart. Before I bring out Zach, explain how he has profoundly affected your relationship with your boyfriend of eight years off and on right now you're a little bit off but explain to us explain to jerry what he does to hurt your relationship with your man i mean first off dad all bull bs aside the things that you tell him and let him see how you treat women and you being my dad do you actually think that he's going to be that he's not going to be receptive of that and he see he think that if you do it it's okay to do it he hadn't did to me the things that he does but when we get into it with your mindset and your concept and the way that you think of things he wants to you and that's that's a man, problem to me man is a that's a problem your man is a professional it boxer. does not matter your man make it a living by matter. boxing if your man has the tendency to let somebody make him perpetrate masquerade or imitate to be something that he's not i mean then, that, then, then that's on him I then mean, that's on him and, and, and then that's he, on him but he don't but no, he don't yo, but yo, at the yo, same yo, time, Okay, can but I just honestly. say something? Zach, I'm, I'm hoping one day that Zach be my son-in-law, right? Really? That's the kind of report you best, got. You better repair this relationship but, but you know first. Okay, Please so welcome on Teresa's boyfriend, Zach, to the show. Zach, come on out. How you doing, Bill? Have a seat there, brother. Have a seat. All right. Zach, you've heard this going on. How, if at all, does Jerry affect your relationship with Montrese? What's going on? Um, I love this guy, you know. This, this is my guy, man. He's a good guy, man. I don't see nothing wrong, man. You call um, him daddy at times, right? Yeah, that's my daddy. Exactly. And you call this your son you never had? Love him, love him to death. What's pimping, right. pimping? 
<laughs> you two roll together. Uh, too much. Yeah. He loves him too much. He had macaroni. Yeah. <laughs> macaroni? <laughs> too much. With the what? Without the cheese. <laughs> I, know the cheese. <laughs> I know about cheese. I know about cheese. See, but you think that's funny, though? It's you not funny, funny to my dreams. He, he makes a joke. Everything's got to be a joke, Bill. And, and, I, and at this point, I'm tired. And, Zach, if you want to roll with the punches with Jerry, then I'm fed up as well. But our relationship, we're working on us. So, but in order for us to continue to work on us, he going to either have to change today, Daddy, so we can build a battle report. Uh, trees, well, trees. Listen, no, listen, no. listen, Bill. Now, are you I, two I, both going to go after her now? No, no, listen. I've been in the family. Zach, I'm going to hear from other, you. We've been, we've been dealing with each other off and on for eight years. And, um, you know, I love Trees. She's clingy a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? And um, But he got that clingy from my dad. My dad, no, my dad no, tells him because he tells my dad's story. Yeah, yeah. I told her for real, like we could be Siamese twins. You know what I'm saying? If you yeah, yeah. No, me and her. Like it's like I can, I can do nothing. But with you're her. apart now, as I understand, you're a little that, bit. But apart. that's what's called a relationship. Yeah. So that's the yeah. relationship. So Believe me, so relationship, we're in a relationship. Come and go. So guess what? But see, my daddy lets him know. Just like when I tell my dad, he tell my dad. One time we got into it. And when we got into it, he went back to the, he went and stayed at the hotel for a couple of days. And I wanted to see what was going on. I wanted to see what was going on. So I went, I went, I went, I went, I went, because whatever we got into it about, yo, I don't know, because you're not going to get no good advice. So that's needless to say. But whatever, no, he does not. Because you ain't going to fall. When I clam, I clam through the window of that hotel room, because it's announcing his phone or his door and then i know where he and i know where he got his advice from my daddy and he went and told my daddy my daddy came right back and got on me and tell me you don't need to be doing it you know why, why, but why, yeah, but why no, not clap through the window because of what my dad said do you have a fear that, no. that zach's gonna act like jerry and that you're gonna lose this relationship because of his involvement and well, these two are clingy. best buds no, but I, clingy. I, I, she's clingy she climbed through the window and i thought spider-man just came out you know what i'm saying <laughs> It, it's it's crazy, right. but anyway. Hey, have you ever cheated on her while you were two were together? Hey, I, no, I didn't get a yes. <laughs> have you? Do we, do we what did you say? Have you ever cheated oh. on her since you two See, were? See what had happened was. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Can I get a yes or a no? <laughs> what Zach did? Have you cheated on Zach since? Man, that's a great story. Let's turn it around. Have you cheated on Zach since? That's the same. That's the same. The reason Montrese came here today was to get this relationship going. Jerry, do you care that the great majority of your own daughters want nothing to do with you? I don't see a repair going on yet. I don't see a coming he together. Don't want it, Bill. He don't, he don't do you want, want a relationship he with Montrese? At the, end, at the end of the show, he do you want none of us? You, you got to give him a chance to be so hard with on me. But what I want but. is Trish to be the daughter and recognize, that regardless to my past, regardless to my background, what I did and what I do and what I don't do. If I can't be the father, if you can't let me be the father, then I guess we can't have a relationship. And guess what? I'll right, let here you we go. Let's do this. I, I have a couple messages. A couple messages. And Montrese, I'm going to give it to you because these are two messages from two of your sisters, two of your daughters from okay. Tiki and Jerika, who said, I'm not coming. See, this is the one who said, I will fly. Listen, listen to this. Well, they was wrong. Jerry. They should have came to see Zach, sit back. Listen to this. These are messages well, from your kids. Well, this message is from Tiki. She says she feels like sometimes you treat us like any female. You promised my mother before she died that you would step up and take care of me, and you didn't fully keep that promise. Jerry, a promise on a, a deathbed of your of your wife and mother, and, and, and you didn't Tiki keep it. And that's Tiki on the camera. Explain. Well, I'm that, waiting that's for my baby on the camera right there. That's her. You know what? Love, love, love my baby. Say something to her. Love my baby. And, and, and maybe I haven't done the things that I should have done. But how can I be good to them when I can't be good to myself right now? So I mean, do you hate yourself a little bit for the life that you've led? Are you a little bit, you know, you're about the age you look back and say, you know, how have I spent my life, the precious moments no, I no, had? No, you no, spend it in the pen no, and no, you, you spend it running a bunch of I hope. would be less than a minute if I said I could hate myself. The life that I live, Regrettable, but acceptable. I got to accept <laughs> move on, okay? Some will I mean, find got, it acceptable. Hold on. At some point, Bill, at but some point, Bill, please let me speak, Dad. Go ahead. At some point, I want you to just to say, Treese, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I wasn't the father that I'm supposed to be. I'm sorry that I exposed you? you to the things that I exposed oh. you to. And I want you to try to, I, I, I want to try to better our relationship. I know you stay, you stay down with me through thick and through thin. So I, I want us to build. So whatever changes that I need to make, I'll try to make them. And these are the changes that I would like for you to make. And we can come to some kind of means and agreements. Quit Jared, treating us like that. that. Can you, Jerry, now think, Zach, sit back, brother. 
I, I want to hear from Jerry. You just Jerry's heard. got to understand. Consequences and circumstances go hand in hand. Can and, I and hear something? No, no, and a lot of things that Jerry, you do. I want to hear no, something. No, it's no see, help. No, no, it's, it's got to be no respect. Help. If, it's it, no if help. she can't respect, she, you know she respects you. That's why no, she's here. She's saying that because she's there. She right. We got Did one you? more message from one more of your daughters and one more of Montreal. And this message is from Jerrica. I gave you the opportunity to walk me down the aisle, even though you didn't. Even though you were not much of a father to me, you didn't take part of my special day, and that really showed me how you truly felt about me. Wow. And that's your baby. Jerry? And her only wedding. Jerry? First okay. wedding. Let, let, let me start. My and, daughter, Jerry, right there. She said, Daddy, I need you to give me $5,000 more dollars on my wedding. I mean, I didn't, why wouldn't you? I, I didn't have $5,000. Say, honey, I don't have $5,000, but I want to walk you down the aisle. I'm going to be there. I'm going to rent me a tuxedo, and I'm going to be there. Not a team of horses couldn't keep me away from my girl's wedding. I'm there. Guess what? It was and like, what, it, it was like if I didn't get a $5,000, well, then you don't really need to be there. It ain't about the $5,000. Yeah, she didn't want it. She had the no, wedding you, anyway you without know, you. You don't when, know. That's when the pimp and hoes. I know my kid. Bill. Wait, Bill. Bill. please let me Hold talk. Hold on, Sarah from Montreal. That's, that's when the pimp and hoes, that's when that would have been acceptable. You got money for Rolls Royce, you don't have money for your daughter's wedding. Not now. But you could have been there without the money and walked her down that aisle. She did walk down the aisle. How much she would have thought about that? Child, if I didn't give she would have accepted it, and he still don't know, and he still didn't try to take the time to call her to say anything. It took them a year before he said anything to her, and she had to come to him. If he, if he, if we, if we get into it with him, and he messes up, and we get mad at him for messing up, Bill, he's not going to apologize to us because he, he feels he, right. he you We got more coming up. <laughs> Is there some sex involved with family members? Yes or no? We'll be back with more. Stay right there. the answers you've been waiting for. Jerry says that you want him bad. Have you ever wanted to have sex with uh, your best friend's father? I got the results of the architect right here. Hold on, hold on. And one final bombshell moment. Jerry, this is the moment that you came thousands of miles to do. Trees. Are you a gold digger and proud of it? Or do you know someone who needs to end their gold digging ways? Come be a guest on our show. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-USK-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. What does it take to get the love and respect of a parent? That's what today's guests are desperately trying to determine. Before I bring out Therese, who is Montrese's best friend and cousin, there's rumors going around that you have maybe had relations or she wants relationship with you that treat the that her cousins coming after you all the time jerry what do you have to say about that you tell the story okay uh, the truth i told trees that montrese and this is trees my daughter yeah. that you always thinking that i'm doing this and doing i said well what about the girls when they do things to me like your cousin i said did you know that she came on to me no, Daddy, she wouldn't have did that there. And she tried to go to bed with me. Ooh. But I Ooh. didn't allow her to. Like I told her, I said, you a cute little thing. I said, but you actually, you can't afford me. Oh. My, that was my exact word. I told you that. Yeah, that's that's what you said about how she couldn't tell, afford tell, me. First I'm getting around here in a okay. minute. First off, first off, he thinks everybody want to sleep with him, Bill. Hasn't he slept with a lot of your friends in the past? Yes, and, th and, that, and that's why, and that's why I brought that's why I brought Trees here today because I feel like if I'm getting help, I want to get to the bottom okay. of everything. And but she took a lie detector test. Let me talk because when I asked Trees, she said, "Don't don't keep words with this, sir." You said, "Haven't I slept with a bunch of friends?" Okay, Jerry, but, 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 but you're my father, and you will sleep. So well, how do you feel when he's sleeping with your friends? Uh, yeah. Because first off, it destroyed our relationship. Because when I found that when I when he first was telling me about it, I, he, he talks. He does a lot of this. So I'm thinking, for the most part, he's just talking. But when I did find out that he really did sleep with my friend, that terminated my relationship. Because Why she knows, a woman? Because she knows, Jerry, because did, she you, knows have, how did I you have did. sex with Trees? This man was with, gone without, 10 years. Yes right? or no? Never. 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 Please Never. welcome on Trees' cousin, Trees, to the show. Trees, come on, Trees. Yeah. Never. He's saying she wanted him to be She wants him. Yeah. She wants him. Yeah. Trees, how you doing, honey? Have a seat here. Now, Trees. Hey, baby. Jerry says that you want him bad that you're a woman looking for jerry have you ever wanted to have sex with uh, your best friend's father does jerry look like you want jerry well <laughs> first of all okay jerry, i'm not a woman okay. jerry does things to okay. 
get away from the relationship he need to build with his daughter. So he tried to put the light on somebody else okay. where the light need to be shined on his bald head Whoa. about what he doing now to also, his daughter. Now, also, as I understand okay. it, are, is this your uncle? Is it, uh, no, me and Montrese are keen on her mother's side. Mother's side. This so is there's her no father. blood involved, but no. but you consider this th your cousin, yeah, and you consider this as part of the family. Yeah, so that's blood or not, I don't yeah. want it. Yeah, the reason why he does he this, he gave this to Montrese, and in a way, I know my cousin in the back of her mind believes him because he's got away with this with her friend. But like I've told him, I'm not her friend, I'm her cousin. First of all, see, we family. Jay done has some of the prettiest right. women in the world. And she'll I know he's have not Right. All right, let's get the re all right, let's get the results. I got the results. Get what the right hold on, hold on. That's not and Mom Trees, you care about this because yeah, if this comes I out mean, the wrong way, you're done I mean, with Trees. My cousin, she oh, knows, she knows how good. she we're she good. knows how I feel. And like I told her, Trees, I believe you. But at the point, my dad, like I said, he went to the pen for the robbery by conversation. So the. the, the Let's go to the results. All right, number right. one, Trace, here's the question. Number one, we asked you, under oath, lie detector test, have you ever flirted with Jerry? You said no, and you failed. Oh. Yeah, I told you. It's Pimpin' Pimpin'. I told you, Pimpin' Pimpin'. I told you. I, I, I flirted with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I flirted with him. You know, you know what? Maybe you were drinking. <laughs> you were drinking. Maybe, man. Trace, maybe you didn't realize it because you were drunk. Maybe you no, were drinking. I don't get drunk. I don't flirt with no, him. No, she, no. she didn't get drunk, but that's let you know. Oh, she did what she did because she wanted on. to do it. What? I ain't going to lie on no woman. Number, okay, number two. Okay, number two. Okay. All right, let's go to number two. Number two. Trace, have you ever tried to sleep with Jerry? And you said no, and that was true. All right. Okay. Jerry? So, according to this, she flirted with him, but she never took it the next step. So, you're putting ideas well, no, in no, your no, daughter's no. mind that really aren't true in a sense. And, and she Maybe may have flirted a little bit, but she nice. never tried to sleep. Or being you're making like it up. He probably, he probably, uh, uh, I, I feel I'm, like I'm he did probably pimp her mind out. He's going to pimp her mind? I, I feel like he probably said some things to Can her. Can you two still have a relationship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Relationship. Good. Our relationship is good. We're, We're good. good. That's what he's trying to do. She didn't sleep with That's what he's trying to do. That's what he's trying to do. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I'm not worried about it. Are you done lying? No. I haven't told a lie. He's lying now. He's lying now. That's a lie. That's a lie. Everything I told you. That's a lie. Everything I told you was the God honest truth. You don't know nothing. More coming up. Stay right there. More coming up. Stay right there. I know. It's time for you to be part of the solution. Here's today's question. Throughout the show, Montrese confronted her dad, Jerry, about treating her like a prostitute instead of his daughter. Do you think Jerry will become a better father? Call 855-TELL-BILL to vote now and find out if America agrees with you. You're going to get some valuable offers. Call 855-TELL-BILL right now. Okay. If you got that much knowledge and wisdom, then okay. what you need to do is tell me some knowledge okay. and wisdom okay. on how not to let no man mistreat me instead of right. trying to right. tell right. me. That's, that's right. what you need that's to do. Right. Don't try to tell me. What if some other player pimp started pimping out your daughter? That's because those other that's girls worse. that you had as girls, they all had fathers just like you, and you're pimping out some dad's girl. Yeah. You're doing that. You did that. Now, you did that. Flair when a father acts more like a pimp than a daddy. We've heard from our guest now is my audience's turn. It's time for Talk Back with Bill. Yeah! Come on up here. Yes. Talk to him. So I just I just want to know, you know, I, I'm sure you love your daughter. I can see you love your daughter. And obviously, you know, hard to change a pimp. Totally understand that. Not from personal experience. And pimping ain't easy, and we know that. From what I hear, it's not easy. They say it on the internet, it's not easy. Um, but you, you, you want to repair your relationship with your daughter, don't you? Come on, you, you come love on. her. You come love on. her. You know what? Come love, on, man. Love you love her. My, love my daughter. I want, I want to have a relationship with my daughter, but I want my daughter to understand that regardless to where I was or what I did, I'm the dad and you the daughter. And if she can't forgive me and respect that, but... Overall, I love to have a relationship with my daughter. Mind, I love her. Right, thank you, brother. All right, now, all right. now, now, young lady, I want you to contain yourself. You're in the presence of Jerry. So I want you to... <laughs> I mean, she, are, are you she, okay? She I mean, can I keep you away from him? Yeah, she's safe. Okay. She's safe? Okay. She's safe. Okay. Yeah, bet that. All right. Okay. 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 She's a kid. She, she, Hold she's on. Wait a minute. Stay there. Come she's here, honey. Come here, honey. Come here, honey. What are you saying? What are you saying? Okay. 
She's safe. She's safe. She's safe. She's safe. She's safe. She's safe. Okay. You don't care much for Jerry, do you? No, no I don't care much for Maury. And you safe too. Yeah. Oh, all right, all right. oh, here we go. All right. How's your daughter the hoe, but you don't want to sleep around? What does that make you? Oh. Thank uh, you, baby. Speak. A whole boss. Anybody else? <laughs> a whole boss. Yeah. A whole boss. <laughs> That's what You're a whole boss. Jerry, Jerry, are you still in the game? Uh, are you still in the game? He tries to be. It don't stop. It's not working for no. him now. No, I'm not Who? in the game. The He's guy. not in the game. He's not in the game. The game is in me. No. The game is in me. I'm not in the game. No. The game is in me. The game is in me. Uh, it doesn't really seem like you want to change, so why are you here? It says, I said, it doesn't really seem like you want to change, so why are you here? What, what, you're here, Jerry, for what reason? For what reason? You came here because Montrese, your daughter, wanted you to come here. But why did you come? What was the reason? If there's not a resolution to this, you, you lost three or four. Here's number one. At some point, Jerry, you got to say as a father, I'm getting rid of my <laughs> pimp persona, and I want to be a dad that I wasn't exactly. before. I mean, and a grandfather. And a, and a grandfather. And a grandfather. Uh, 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 that's not going to happen. That's her father. Here. She's supposed to have unconditional love I'm hoping that you can give some resolution to this. We're gonna, we have an expert coming okay. up later. Okay. That's She's gonna supposed try. to have but, unconditional you know, love for him. We can throw him. you the rope, but you got to grab it. I, are you going to grab it? I'm willing. That's what I'm here for. You're here. I'm here. So before the show is done, the walls of Jericho will come tumbling down. I can't stand it. I'm here to try. You're here to try. I'm here to try. That's all I want. I'm, I'm we'll be back with more. Stay right there. Stay there. We're going to try. Is it possible for a father and a daughter to mend a tough relationship torn apart by betrayal? Please welcome family therapist from Drexel University, Dr. R.G. Allen, to the show. Dr. Allen, how you doing? Good to be here. We got problems today, but I just heard a plea for help from Jerry to try to get something going on with at least one of his daughters. But do you believe that Jerry really wants a, a solid, typical relationship with his daughter, a loving relationship? Yeah, here's the thing. With Jerry, what I've seen only in a few minutes is that Jerry's got to make some changes. And you got to do more than just want it. And you got to do more than just talk it. It's not enough to just talk the talk. You got to walk the walk. And he hasn't done that. So he likes to talk. He likes to talk. But the walking the walk is to walk towards your daughter and to make some changes. And Let's I'm not so sure right, Jerry wants to do Jerry, that. Jerry, two ears, no mouth. Listen up. Listen. Doctor. Jerry, my question to you is, are you willing to make the changes to move towards your daughter? Because she's already made lots of steps. Heck, she's the one that was responsible for getting all of you here because she wants to have a relationship. I heard you backstage basically saying that you love your daughter. It takes more than just saying you love her. You have to show her that you love her. Are you willing to make those changes? Because if you're not, then I gotta tell you, the repairing of the relationship is not gonna happen. Are you willing to? It's uh, a yes or no. I'm willing to try anything. You're uh, willing I'm, to try anything. Do you okay. want to try is the question. No, 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 Okay. Hold on, Trace. Hold on, Zach. Jerry, you said you're willing to try. Okay, this is what I need you to do. I need you to look at your daughter. In fact, can you switch seats? I want you to move closer to your daughter. Can you do that? Zach, come, switch come, up. Come close to your daughter. And I want you to look at your daughter, and I want you to tell your daughter what you, Jerry, are willing to do. One thing that you're willing to do that's different than what you've been doing to start repairing this relationship. I want you to look in her eyes. And Bill told you not, not to be grabbing all over, so just look in her eyes. You can hold her hand, though, because that's what men do for ladies. And she's a queen, so treat her like the queen that oh. she is. Hold on now, let's hear it, let's hear it. This is, Jerry, this is the moment that you came thousands of miles to do. And please, Jerry, don't blow it. Trees, you know honestly that I love you. But in order for us to have a good relationship, it's got I, to be... I want, and I, I want, I want, I, I want to do I, this. I want to do the right thing to make it work. Whatever it takes, whatever I need to give up or stop doing, I love you enough to I'm willing to give it up for you, okay? Excellent. I love you. Excellent. Okay. 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 Now, that's, my that, that's good. That's good, that's good right? Doctor, that's a that's good a, start. That's a start. Montrese, can you tell Jerry what is it that you need him to do? One thing. To be a father. Mm. And what does that look like for you? To be there for me through the thick, through thin, mentally, physically, financially, emotionally, spiritually. Okay. Now ask Jerry if he can do that. There's a difference between being able to do it and being willing. We want to know, is he willing? Are you willing to, to do that? Willing. I'm, I'm willing. 
but I don't know if I'm able to give you all the things that you're looking for right now. But if it's Daddy, any, I'm, wait, 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 let's stop there. That's an honest statement. That's, that's the honest. Honest, yeah. That's the most honest that I've seen him. I like today. that. That's good. That's he good. said he's willing, but he's not able. But he needs help. Doesn't know how. Right. You you, you right. want to love, but you don't know how to love. Right. Because right. you've spent a life of sex and drugs and penitentiaries and not a life of love. Right. And sex is not love and love is not sex. She understands too. He's still right. trying to overcome them 10 years of being locked up. I, I, I mean, I've been no, locked up. Not I had to, no, 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 you know, you know what, you're not eating me in this, sir. You're not eating me in this, sir. That's why she said, that's why you said you got no love. Time out, time. He put you in because you was flirting. Time out, I wasn't flirting. Being nice, being nice and flirting can beat Mr. Scrum. I'm being nice, family. That's my cousin, the family. I wish they could, too. The lie detector test, I don't know what's wrong with me, but she did that. Hey, Jerry, I need you to focus on me. I need you to focus on me, okay? This is not about Trace. This is not about Zach. This is about your daughter who made the effort to come here. Are you willing to here. make the declaration? Now, I heard about your other daughters who said that you made promises. Make the promise here and then make good on it. Stand up. Come here. Let's see something. Let's see something. This is your flesh. This is your blood, and she needs you. Can we have a fatherly hug? Not the hug from some hoe with a pimp, but the love between a father and a daughter that you brought into the world. Please. I know you can. All right. Aww. I love you for real. When we continue the bottom line, for more info, go to the website, thegocunningmenshow.com. It's time for you to be part of the solution. Here's today's question. Throughout the show, Montrese confronted her dad, Jerry, about treating her like a prostitute instead of his daughter. Do you think Jerry will become a better father? Call 855-TELL-BILL to vote now and find out if America agrees with you. You're going to get some valuable offers. Call 855-TELL-BILL right When you seek the love you miss from a parent, here's the bottom line. A child never stops needing the love of a parent. You won't always get the approval you seek. Live your life for you. Don't fall for traits in a mate you don't like in a parent. Look for something better. I want to thank each of my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. And by her allowing me to be the father, that's allowing me to be who I am. I love her and want to report with her. I don't feel like I got nothing to apologize for. I do want to say that I love her. And if they love me, it's unconditioned. Forget my past and love me for who I am today.